In 1988, the world of frozen dessert treats changed forever with the invention of Dippin' Dots. Those colorful beads of flash frozen ice cream packed full of flavor and fun. Dippin' Dots was introduced as the ice cream of the future, and 30 years later, its popularity and future are still going strong. Dippin' Dots was created in Southern Illinois by Kurt Jones. And living in Southern Illinois, Paducah was the next closest large city. So it made sense for Kurt as the business grew to come to Paducah where the transportation uh, in and out of the city was much easier than Southern Illinois. So it also provided a, a better employee base uh, for the growing company. Dippin' Dots was invented roughly 30 years ago by Kurt Jones, who's the founder of the company. And he was uh, producing animal probiotics for animal feed products. And he was using liquid nitrogen to freeze the probiotics. And he had a love of ice cream. And so he took the flash freezing process that he was using with animal feed and thought, what if I put ice cream into this process, what would happen? And out of that came Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots is a high quality, specialty, novelty ice cream product. Uh, they're made in the shape of little beads, small like BBs. Dippin' Dots are not sold in traditional freezers in stores. Um, the Dippin' Dots must be held at minus 40 degrees, which is colder than most grocery store freezers. Uh, we do have special freezers that we can put into a store location, such as a convenience store or um, another fun center or some facility like that so that Dippin' Dots can be sold. Dippin' Dots is currently being sold in seven other countries besides the U.S. Uh, it's. Uh, we're getting ready to launch in China and Brazil in 2018, so it'll bring us up to nine countries around the world. So it's uh, an international brand. We do have another manufacturing facility in South Korea. We started manufacturing there in 2001, so they currently produce product for South Korea, for Vietnam, and for Japan. Currently, Dippin' Dots has 30 different flavors. We actually have a lot of fun with uh, choosing what flavor is going to be next for Dippin' Dots. Um, you'll find us here eating ice cream at 10 a.m. in the morning, taste testing. Um, so we have a group that contribute ideas for new flavors. We also listen to consumers uh, for their flavor ideas. Uh, as well as we have flavor houses that will tell us, you know, what's the next popular flavor that's coming out. And so we'll uh, taste test some of those and see what we think internally is the best option. And then we will take that out to schools and actually get the kids to tell us what the next Dippin' Nuts flavor should be. Uh, we have done some really fun flavors with popping candy. Uh, our new flavor, Frozetti Confetti, has a popping candy in it. Dippin' Dots are made like conventional ice cream. The ingredients that we use to make Dippin' Dots are fresh cream, fresh milk, and sugar. Uh, we go through approximately 15 truckloads of milk per week during busy season. Dippin' Dots in their process uses 11 tanker loads of liquid nitrogen per day in freezing their products. And we produce over 3 million gallons of Dippin' Dots per year, so that feeds a lot of people. It's a lot of servings. The shape of the Dippin' Dots is partly because of the process that it's made through, and the droplets form a round spherical uh, shape. But that shape also, since it's round, it, it's the ideal shape for fast freezing because of more surface area. It's flash frozen at 320 below zero, and that creates smaller ice crystals than you would have in normal ice cream, so you get a much smoother, uh, more flavorful texture than you do with conventional ice cream. So by the time the, the milk and the cream gets here, it's blended all together, it's pasteurized and flavored and made into Dippin' Dots within a 24-hour period. 
A lot of people don't realize that Dippin' Dots is just ice cream. Um, of course, it's the most unique ice cream in the world, so you can make sundaes and floats and shakes out of Dippin' Dots. And uh, we also have a product called LOL, which is lots of layers, which is where you can uh, pick four different flavors or three different flavors and layer them in a cup so that you don't have to choose just one. Dippin' Dots does have a long shelf life because they're stored at minus 40. And at minus 40, there's very little degradation of the product. So if, if you can hold it at minus 40, the shelf life is almost indefinite. We have plans for a 30th anniversary in our franchise locations in malls across the United States um, around, or actually on National Ice Cream Day, Sunday, July 17th. Uh, we will also be celebrating our 30th anniversary by having parties thrown at each of our franchise locations. So um, two very fun things to celebrate, National Ice Cream Day and Dippin' Nuts 30th anniversary. Dippin' Nuts has a brand new mascot. His name is Frozetti the Yeti. So uh, be on the lookout for him. You will see him around a lot more often. Ask someone about their first experience with Dippin' Dots, and they'll be able to tell you exactly where they were, what they were doing, and how old they were. You should never eat Dippin' Dots with a metal spoon. It's kind of the tongue on the flagpole, the frozen flagpole effect if you do. So um, you should eat them with a plastic spoon. Just eat them often. One of Dippin' Dots' first taglines was ice cream of the future. And that tagline was used because people had never heard of Dippin' Dots and they didn't know what these spherical beads of ice cream were. So the tagline ice cream of the future was developed to create an interest and a curiosity of the public. And even though we don't use the ice cream of the future tagline as much as we used to, it's still the ice cream of the future because the future is now.